A new art gallery that is free to view coming to Gulf County Art Museum later this week with plenty of fun and interesting pieces to view. News 13's Ethan Logue traveled out to Port St. Joe this morning and joins us live from the Joe Center for the Arts with more on this new gallery. Good morning, Ethan. Hey, good morning, guys, and we've been talking about this new exhibit the entire morning, and you yourself at home, you've been seeing some of the incredible pieces that are now almost up for display and viewing here at the Joe Center for the Arts in downtown Port St. Joe, right on Reed Avenue. Of course, they have their opening reception this Friday, and then everything opens up to the public on Saturday. So there's so much to check out. We want to give you those details one last time to make sure you can come on out and check out some of the incredible work now on display. So joining me one last time, I have Cheryl Plugstra, a volunteer with the, the Joe Center for the Arts. So Cheryl, to start things off, I think it's important to mention when your opening reception is again, as well as when people can start coming out and checking out all this artwork. Okay, um, so we'll be having our opening party 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern time um, this Friday. Mm -hmm. Come on out, it's a great party, it's free and open to the public. Um, you meet the artists and it, you can discuss their work with them. And mm -hmm. then the exhibit opens Saturday morning at 11 mm -hmm. and it'll be open for the next six weeks, uh, Wednesday through Saturday starting at 11 each day. All right, starting at 11 a.m. Eastern time each day. And now when people come out and check out some of these works, is it all local artists or does it kind of spread across the country? It's primarily local, but we do have artists from um, other parts of Florida and yeah. for this exhibit, um, North Carolina, I wow. believe. Yeah. Okay. So some from North Carolina even. And now these all these pieces are available for purchase as well. They people are. see one and really love it, right? Right. Yeah. Come out and purchase. That's yeah. the idea. All right. And speaking of that, you guys, of course, here at the Joe Center for the Arts are a nonprofit organization. So any funds or m money you make off events like these, where does that go towards? Well, um, a lot of it goes back into the community and we especially are involved in arts for kids. Mm -hmm. So in, in any exhibit, we'll have a kid's corner, we'll have crafts, mm -hmm. um, we'll have a um, scavenger hunts mm -hmm. to get them to really look at art and experience it. Um, but we really do want to encourage art with younger people. And why is that so important to you and the rest of the volunteers here at the Joe Center to spread art, especially to the kids and the youth here in the area? Well, in any small town, um, usually the Schools don't have enough money, mm. always, um, and so art is not a big priority. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that kids have art in their lives. Mm -hmm. Making sure they have art in their lives, very well right. said, Cheryl. So if you want to have some art in your life, you can come out this Friday from 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern time for the opening reception for this new exhibit here at the Joe Center for the Arts. Or if you want to wait till this weekend, it all opens at 11 a.m. and will be here through September 20th. So plenty of time to come on out here to the Joe Center for the Arts in downtown Port St. Joe and check out all the incredible work that is on display. Guys, 